So guys, it's your girl, Wild Honey. I have not filmed in like forever, I know, right? I've just been not feeling the vibes, okay? Picking up a camera sometimes is just like, ugh, okay? <laughs> but I recently graduated. I want to say graduated. My program came to an end Wednesday, the 27th of November, 2024. So... As a result of that, they gave us a tool kit or a tool bag. We haven't had a ceremony for graduation, anything like that yet. That's supposed to be sometime in January, which I don't think I'm going. Shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> but I said, this might be some good content to show you all what I got, right? So I got... First, I'll show you all what's outside the tool bag, right? So they gave us a L-shape uh, frame and square. And this is the second time I'm doing this video, by the way. I was doing it in portrait mode and it, it just wasn't working out. So this is a L-shape frame and square. For those of you who are familiar, you know, I don't know what other name you all might be calling this by, but yeah, they gave us one of these. And... They gave us a drill, the Walt drill. The, this is a drill that we used a lot in the program, so we kind of used to this. So I figured this is why they gave us this drill, you know. So glad that they did because, you know, it could be a little bit of a learning curve, but yeah. Once you keep using it and practicing it with it, it should be, you should come pretty familiar with it. But yeah, they gave us a drill and it's the Walt. You wouldn't be able to read it because this is front facing camera as usual with me. Um, compact drill, driver kit, right? 20 Max V, right? So that's just some details about that. Yeah, guaranteed tough. That's what the buck said. <laughs> All right, and then we have a level, right? So these did not fit in the tool bag itself. So showing you what's outside of it. And now we have the tool bag. Okay, give you all a good view of that. Since it's in, it's in landscape mode and it says tech source, what? Tech source tools, tool kits done right. Tech source tools, tool kits done right. So let us see what's in this tool bag. And I don't have the list. <laughs> so I will be reading the tools from the tools themselves because I, I don't know what from the, um, I'll be reading what the tools themselves see, right? Because <laughs> I don't have the list. I don't want to do with that list, right? That I was supposed to check off everything that came in the tool bag. So first thing I pulled out was a hammer that says Stanley. It's 20 ounce, right? And they probably have it named a different thing on the, the um, tool list. But yeah. And my mom's in the kitchen cooking spaghetti at the end of time. So, mom, do you like this? Love it. Yeah. So, that's a hammer. And my mouth is watering. So, that's spaghetti. I can't wait. <laughs> and we have another one. So, that one was 20. 20 what? 20 ounce and this one is 16 ounce uh oz <laughs> so yeah good to have for i guess carpentry or building construction i guys i am fairly new to this thing i i don't know if i ever told you all i just wanted to try it 
I basically woke up one day and was like, I need to know how to build a house. <laughs> and that's why I went to the program. And the program's been very interesting, but what I like about the program is that everything that you learn is repetitive. So all you have to do is basically choose something you like, whether that be flooring, siding, drywall, whatever, and keep doing that and you'll master that. And you will eventually learn to do other things because you're in the tree. So the next thing they gave us is a tool belt, right? Should I try this on for y'all? This is in landscape mode. <laughs> but I give you all a little, little snippet. <clears throat> okay, tool belt. As if y'all don't know what a tool belt looks like. But <laughs> just to give you all an overall look of what it's like. Okay. So that came into my toolkit. Coley Cole. Come, Coley Cole. Man, I'm <laughs> she, she making style. She will come just now. All right. Okay. The other thing I got in here is a padded. Ooh. Sorry, guys. It's a contraption I have going here. So hopefully, and my battery is on six percent. Hold on. Yeah, guys, hopefully this lasts because I am not doing this over, right? I have a contraption going here. My battery is on 6%. But yeah, they give us a padded belt, right? And it says, okay, nothing interested. Oh, yeah, it's two-inch poly webbing fits up to 52-inch waist foam construction right so padded belt some safety glasses what is this or this optical a clear vision this we used to use we used to use these i will tell you something about these these are super important when you're using that circular so come here <laughs> She just came and cutting wood or you're um using any kind of like jigsaw anything those tiny wood chips can get in your eyes really easily even with these on but at least it's still a barrier so safety glasses as best as you could get them i i say invest in these because these are super important Nothing like a wood chip in your eye, okay? It's just irritating or wood dust, sawdust. They gave us a, a what? <laughs> a, a channel lock. So 420. And they have, I told you all, I can't sign that list, okay? But this, okay? So a wrench, right? Build strong, works hard, won't quit. They gave us a Comlan case armor, 25 feet measuring tape. I had one personally already, but never hurts to have more than one. Right? Then... Yes, this is this one is my personal measuring tape that I used in school before they gave us this one and all their products. Oh yeah. It's the same, it's the same as this one. So apparently I had a good one, and this one is 30 feet. So this one is 25 feet, this one is 30 feet. Okay. And then we have three-piece wood chisel. I remember we were using something like this to chip. It was bricks. <laughs> it's a wood chisel. It might have been something else, but it was something like this we were using to chip that brick. And it is 13 mm, a half inch, 
19 mm 3 foot inch and 25 mm 1 inch okay so then we have Stanley caulk line reel this was fun to use on the roof <laughs> and in masonry when we were using that um line and you just like pull it against the thing so it could make a line so you could actually keep it level and plumb and flush and we have a utility knife this has many uses many 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 uses in carpentry a utility knife you guys who are versed in carpentry and know this kind of stuff you know that right then we have a small level it's another name for it but i don't know where the list is right so we use this a lot sometimes you just want to rest something just right on the the cabinet or something you don't want to get the big long ones and you just want to see if it's level right there we never use this this saw we never use this personally i don't know why or who would use it. i remember seeing this when i was real young my my parents had one of these and they used to be soaring away at yeah we, we yeah no <laughs> okay we did not use that but i guess it could come in handy at some point and this is a nail set right long beveled nail tips right so not quite sure what these are for but guess we'll figure them out um we have a control stanley control grip six-way screwdriver right always need one of these Ooh, and this is a 12 inch stainless steel combination square yeah i never used this i don't think i saw any of my classmates using this but i'm sure when we get a job because they're supposed to be helping us get a job this might be needed they might they might want this might this might need us to get have, have one of those the bag is almost empty right let's have a few other stuff in there what's that what is this this is stair gauges fits framing squares okay stair gauges right and then we have a quick square nice we use this a lot i can't tell you how many times this thing everybody will be asking for it okay and then we have a ooh, a nail claw this comes in handy too because when you're using a bunch of nails and it gets stuck oh yeah right and last but not least we have what is this a wonder bar right so that's what they gave me at the end of my 10 month program and the tool bag so guys there you have it i gave you some content <laughs> and i will let you know how it goes with me I'm supposed to help my mom hang some curtains so these some of these tools might be coming in <laughs> if i film it i don't know if i'm filming it my mom is shy right mom yeah. <laughs> yes she's shy. she's shy cola come make an appearance please why why are you treating me like that please come please okay i gotta go <laughs> Y'all might see her in a short. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>